Well, Louisiana is the first state to pass a law mandating the Ten Commandments be displayed in public school classrooms. Since then, many have questioned whether this is constitutional. Multiple plaintiffs in a lawsuit challenging the Ten Commandments being displayed in Louisiana schools filed a motion to temporarily block the action. NBC's Deshaun Johnson tells us why some say it should be up to the courts to sort this out. Louisiana is the only state to pass a law requiring a version of the Ten Commandments to be displayed in every public classroom. It's a fight that is already being taken to the courts. Uh, it's favoring a certain religion, a, a certain religious ideology. The ACLU and a number of other organizations are suing the state, saying it's a violation of the First Amendment by mandating a particular religious document to be in every class. The state representative who carried the bill claimed that the Ten Commandments are a historical document, that all of the laws are based on. I, I beg to differ that this is just Christian, but I have no no qualms if it was. This is this is not preaching a Christian religion. It's not preaching any religion. It's teaching a moral code. She also pointed to the case of the football coach in Washington State that the Supreme Court ruled he could pray on the field after the game. Alana Odoms with the ACLU of Louisiana says that there is a distinct difference. The students in that situation were not a captive audience because it was after the game and the students could either participate or not participate and it was an invitation so it wasn't something that was required. Attorney General Liz Merle says that she is looking forward to defending the law and claims that the Ten Commandments are simple common sense. A sentiment that Senator Bill Cassidy shares with her. All these things would be so nice if reinforced. Why don't we? Odom says that this law is a chance for groups of conservatives to roll back decades of legal precedents to allow more religious authority in the nation's laws. And I think they believe perhaps in the same way that uh, this Supreme Court overturned 50 year precedent uh, in uh, Roe versus Wade that they may have the opportunity to overturn 40 year precedent in the Stone versus Graham case. For your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht.